Hello Maverick Nation, we're here today with women's head basketball coach Emily TC talk about this upcoming season, how the preseason's been going, and what you can expect to see from your Mavericks on the court. Thank you for your time, coach. Um, first question for you is, how has the preseason been going? So far, so good. We're super excited just to be back on the court together. Uh, team's been bringing some great energy. Uh, I think we're just super appreciative to have a preseason this year, and so uh, we're capitalizing on every chance that we can have to be together and to uh, you know, make this season um, all that it should be and all that we're excited for it to be. Excellent. So you got four newcomers coming onto the team this year. What are your thoughts so far on their performance, what they're bringing to the team, and what you can expect from them this year? Yeah, four of them have, have been um, outstanding in just how quickly they've been catching on to things. Um, we're super excited about, you know, just the energy and, uh, you know, a lot of their skill development. They're, they're right where they need to be. We're, we're just excited and we think the outlook is, is great for them. Um, you know, I think also beyond that, our sophomore class, you know, we're really kind of counting them in in that newcomer category because of, of how strange their year was last year and, and not having a, a complete preseason, a complete season. Um, their roles were maybe a little different last year due to that. Um, and so, you know, really uh, we have a, a huge group, you know, between our freshman and sophomore class of newcomers yeah. and they've all been catching on so well. It looks, it's really promising and, and our group of leaders uh, that are, you know, really taking them under our wing has really uh, made this preseason fly and it's, it's helped us to be very productive so far. Excellent. Now, got a pretty rigorous non-conference schedule. What are your thoughts on that going in before conference play starts? Uh, you know, that's, that's how we like to do it. You know, our conference schedule itself is so competitive and cutthroat every game that, you know, we need our non-conference games to really prepare us for what the conference season is going to hold. And, uh, you know, we, we open up, you know, with Bethany Lutheran College right here in town. That's a fun, um, you know, community uh, supported game where we can kind of get the community of Mankato to come to that game. And it's a, a fun chance to play kind of a, a cross town uh, university. But then um, as we go into, you know, our game against uh, UW Parkside and then also our San Antonio Thanksgiving tournament, those are three teams that, um, you know, had a ton of success. They have a great history within their programs. and. Those are going to be a really good challenge for us as we head into the conference season. Absolutely, and obviously you speak about the conference season and how competitive the teams are in the NSIC. What are your expectations for your team? I know preseason polls is coming out soon, and you rank rather highly in, in your division and overall in the conference. So what are your expectations for the Mavericks in conference play? You know, we, we have that expectation. You know, we want to be a championship caliber team um, year in and year out. Um, you know, I think our... our success from last year, you know, we really want to continue to build off of that and, and take next steps, especially as we, um, you know, make a push through the entire regular season of our conference and not, um, you know, necessarily just making the run at the end of the year. Um, you know, with the condensed field of how many teams are going to make it into the conference tournament, it is going to be, um, you know, even a little bit more intense game in, game out that you have to take care of business from the start of the season and put yourself in a good position when it comes to the end of the season. Absolutely. And you spoke about the sophomore class kind of being lumped in with the incoming freshmen. You have 11 uh, returning letter winners, including first team all NSIC selection and Joey Bat. What are your expectations for these returnees, the sophomore freshmen, as well as Joey in particular? Yeah, you know, I think, again, we have some unbelievable leaders. You know, our senior class, um, you know, five players yeah. in that class, you know, we've got a, a ton of playing experience in those players um, that, you know, really had a huge role for us their entire career. Um, you know, obviously we look for them to, to bring the consistency and the leadership for our program. Um, you know, and just in, in taking those younger kids under their wing and letting them know that this is this is what we do here. This is how we compete. Uh, this is what you got to be ready for heading into the NSIC. Um, you know, Joey is um, has proven to have a lot of success in our in our league and in our program. Um, but you know, with that COVID year, she's a sophomore, and so she's an underclassman right now. Um, but we we don't look at her that way. We look at her as somebody that needs to shoulder a lot of what we do. Um, she gets our offense going. You know, with the ball in her hands a lot. She has gets our defense going as she picks up the ball a lot. And, um, you know, we, we would continue to look at her to take those next steps. But, uh, you know, we are, we are a, a team that, you know, really works together on both ends of the floor. And so, you know, all of our seniors along with Joey, and then, like I said, we've got some great bright spots in those freshmen and sophomores that they will most definitely be playing uh, big roles for us this year. And, and that's really exciting that we have, you know, a, a great 
leadership and experience along with some great young players that are going to be uh, looked, looked to to have an uh, impact for us this year. Excellent, Coach. Well, thank you for your time and your thoughts on this upcoming season. Look forward to seeing you guys hit the court at home 16th and in the exhibition away at Drake on November 6th. Best of luck. Thank you.